Greetings and salutations, YouTubers. I'm here with Jack Animations. Hello. And today, we are here to answer the question, How do I become a member of the Backstreet Boys? Ah, uh, yes. The pinnacle of 90s boy bands. Uh, so, I think this is a great question for me, as I am an ex-member of the Backstreet Boys. Uh, yeah, so I was the one who wrote all the songs, and uh, I was the, the best dancer by far. So, uh, yeah, this is a great question for me. Yeah, it was really hard to get him for this, but I pulled some strings, talked to some of my buddies in Hollywood, and I got him just for you guys. Yeah, I had to get my friend Bernie Sanders to get me to do this, because I really wasn't willing to come into this podcast, but he, he made me come and offered me some big cash. So, you know, if I ain't getting paid, you're not getting the answers. The Backstreet Boys, of course, are known for some top hits such as Singing in the Shower with a Lamp and... Don't forget my underpants in the toaster. <laughs> and their hit single, Toasters in the Bathtub, A Love Story. Yeah, so the main way to get into the Backstreet Boys is to be a cool dude and be super ripped like me and you know i didn't start off as a member of the backstreet boys in the late 90s so i was born in a small town in england in 2005 and i started off making youtube videos about vlogging with my pet parrot maverick i got quite popular adam sandler my best friend at the time and cousin asked me hey you've got a pretty good music would you like to join my band <laughs> <laughs> Also, so you guys know, Jack is Banksy, so it's double celebrity over here, you know? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> and after I started the Backstreet Boys with Adam Sand <laughs> <laughs> and Justin <I'm> Timberlake. <laughs> Don't forget Barack Obama. <laughs> and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> The five key members of the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> oh God. Alright, alright, hold on. Alright. <laughs> so after we hit released our first hit single, The Three Musketeers and Their Squirrels, uh, the government in England shut down and the United Kingdom ceased to exist. Uh, I managed to take all my things and move to South Africa and uh, sadly Mickey Mouse didn't make it so we had to replace him with the hot entire cast of One Direction. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I joined later in 2074 <laughs> and, you know, I wrote the... the... <laughs> I wrote the favourite Kitchen appliances in the snow, the fan favorite. <laughs> but but back to Jack joining, or make I yeah. don't know. <laughs> Though I was quite reluctant to perform this song as it was quite controversial with the pans and the spoons, so I had to change some of the lyrics to fit the PG um, fifteen rating uh, that our famous band was known for, and. Uh, you know, the year was 1987, and I was quite failing in the music industry, and I needed to step up somehow. So that's when I recruited Freddie Mercury. the president, Donald Trump. <laughs> yep, yeah, Freddie Mercury. Sorry, not Donald Trump. Freddie Mercury. I'll crap that and, out. And uh, we performed, <laughs> and uh, I had to hire Freddie Mercury, and we performed our hit single "Toto" by Africa. Now, this song was very famous, and it is a masterpiece. And at that point, Elena died. Oh, yeah. I was very sad. Sad, sad days for the band. Yeah, it, it was awful when she died. So, and we we had a hiatus. When when I died, it sparked the their emo phase when they wrote hits such as... Uh, <laughs> such as, I write sins, not tragedies, and the Black Parade. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, so yeah, that's how to become a member of the Backstreet Boys. Uh, make sure to drink your Pepsis with milk. Also, be Banksy. 
Thanks for watching. If you want more of this, subscribe to my channel or Jack's. He is Jack Animations. I will put a link of his channel in the description. And remember to share and comment and like and subscribe. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, bye everyone. See you next time. I like my waffles in the bath. And that was the point when Freddie Mercury was kicked out of the band. Well, he wasn't actually kicked out. He left. After my grandma had died, she had the script for Bohemian Rhapsody in her hands at the open casket. And Freddie Mercury ran in and grabbed the script out of her cold, dead hands. And then he made a living off of it. You know, I, I was going to do the same, but he beat me there. But, you, you know... Still disappointing.